Love. What is love? Some say it's the most important question you will ever ask in your life. No matter how many hours, days, and years you spend trying, you will never find the answer in any horoscope or lecture. The answer is in the pages of the book of life as you write it. Some say that love is a hunger, an endless aching need. Is it true that anything is possible with love? Does love really conquer all? I mean, we like people and people like us, but how do we know if they really are the one? No matter how perfect a person may seem, how do we know if we may be making the biggest mistake of our lifetime? Do we fall in love with the right person at the right time? Some things are worth experiencing, but trust me, many things are worth waiting for. I believe that love is defined as an uncontrollable desire to share everything you have and will ever have with someone. And physical attraction, that's a bonus. But that's it, a bonus. Love is uncontrollable, and therefore makes your actions uncontrollable. Sometimes, it's just unexplainable. Not even something you ask to feel for that person. It just happens. And if you plan for it to happen, it will never happen. When you think it's going to happen, and you already plan life with somebody before it happens, it will never happen. Love, or should I say, true love, happens when you weren't even looking. How do I know what love is? I'm writing the pages of the book of my life. I still remember that day like it was yesterday. Everything. It just seems so, so perfect. I had never been on such a flawless ride in my life. The mood was perfect. The, the timing, the timing was perfect. She was perfect. What could I have to lose? It seemed as if everything was in my favor. The sun shone brighter than ever, leaving a dollop of light like a halo on top of her head. The night will either be made for me, or I'm done for it. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Okay. I had to tell her tonight. I couldn't hold in my affection any longer. When you love someone, it pains you to feel like you can't tell them for any reason. Nervousness, fear, Insecurities? Loving someone isn't very difficult. But to confess it is. With my eyes closed, I could feel every syllable that rolled off her tongue. Anything for you. I'd do anything for you. It's all I could think of. I was, I was so nervous. I began to panic. How would I get the courage to stop her and tell her that I love her?
really enjoyed those slow moments of immense joy and warmth. Unfortunately, insecurity ruled my heart. I really wanted to cuddle her, and hold her, and kiss her. But I was afraid of losing her. I didn't want that moment to pass. I wanted to live in that world forever. But what happens? What happens when forever goes away? We had come such a long way, a very long way, from the day, from the day we first met. Days, hours, minutes, even, even seconds, they all started to play a significant role in my life, and only after I met her. It was so hard to imagine. Just everything seemed so unrealistic, so, just so insane. So impossible, but it, it wasn't. Everything was true. I, d I didn't think it would be that easy, but now I'm happy. Happily married. I love you. You what? I love you. I can't imagine my life with anyone else other than you. You have my heart. You have everything I've ever worked for my entire life. That's why. That's why I want you to have this. What are you doing? Kate. Why are you doing this? Why are you messing this up? What do you mean, messing this up? I'm in love with you. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Kate, will you Get marry up. me? We were perfect. We were fine. We were fine. Kate. Why can't people just accept good when good is enough? You've known me for what, like two months? We're still in college and have a long way to go. And amongst all this, where do you find the time to love me, huh? And getting married, everything would be different. Everything would change. I want things to change for the better. I want to come home to you and call you my wife. Wife? You don't know how to be a husband. How are you going to invest your life in me? When you haven't even gotten your own together yet. This will not be as easy as you think, Brian. I know it's not going to be easy. I never said it would be easy. Do you love me? Love is hard. Too young. Oh, cut the bullshit, Kate. Do you love me? Of course I love you, Brian. You're the best friend that I have. I mean, you were there when I was crying and losing my mind, and when I just needed to be held by someone. You know everything about me, and I know everything about you. Together, we've been through the best and the worst. But that doesn't mean that I can love you like you want me to. That's just what friends do. A handshake and a smile is what friends do. I just left at that. No, no, see, we are not friends. When the smile's persistent, 
and we gaze into each other's eyes and the handshake turns into a hug and that turns into affection, the line between friendship and love begins to blur. I can't force this on you. I can't make you love me. But just know that I know deep down you actually love me too. And not just as a, a friend. It's obvious, Kate. The Kate that I know stands unmoved when she speaks from the heart. The person that I see now, the person that I see now is nervous and confused. I've never had anyone feel this way for me before. Sure, I've felt it for someone else, but I've never had anyone literally try so hard to give me everything my heart desires. I cherish you. I want you to know that. I really do. And if my actions showed otherwise, I'm sorry. But I'm not ready for true love. I mean, every day I see a different person to fantasize about. I say that I'm ready for true love and I'm ready to settle down, but truth is, deep down, every cute guy I see, I think is going to be my next husband. I'm just not ready. I'm sorry. I'm just not ready. Those were the last words she said to me. this be the end? It couldn't be. I, I, I couldn't let it be. I never saw Kate again. I had no choice. This was the end of my life. With, with the love of my life. I didn't think I could love another person ever again the way that I loved her but I still wanted the love I still needed love 
but the day that Kate left and never returned haunted my mind, soul, and spirit for years to come. Even as I kiss my beautiful wife, and even as I proclaim to be happily married, I still wish she'd come back. Though Kate's words rip me apart, I wish she would just show up at my door and simply say the words, I miss you. Who am I kidding? After all these years without her even attempting to see me, I guess she really never was in love with me. An unanswered riddle. That's what my life is now. All that's left now is a fading memory and an unhealable scar.
love. How the hell did I fall for her? How the hell did I fall in love? <laughs>